Hey guys, this is Laura Craigie. It's finally Friday and I'm excited to do another video with you guys. I'm going to show you a little tutorial um, for how I make like patchwork cards and how I do it really quick instead of cutting out all the little squares. Um, I'm going to show you a way to do that a lot easier. This is a technique I learned like years and years and years ago, like six years ago or something, at a crop from a class. Um, and I thought I'd pass that on to you guys. So I'm going to start with uh, my papers. I'll show you these. They're actually from about five or six different collections of October Afternoon. And I just went through and picked out papers that I liked the colors. And that's what I love about the 8x8 eight eight pads. I love the size of the pattern and I love that they just seem to be very cohesive and that they can all work together because honestly these are from so many different lines. I'll quickly show you the... I have one, two papers I think from Midway, from Woodland Park, Cakewalk, underneath that's 9 to 5, Sarsaparilla, and Boarding Pass. So all of those are going to be on this card and they're just they work well together. So, okay, let's get started and I'll show you how I do this. So instead of, sorry, actually before I do that, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing first. So I made this card the other day and I did this card with one inch strips of paper and today I'm using quarter inch strips. So my, my little patchwork background is gonna be smaller than this. I wanted to give it a try. I usually just do it with the one inch, but I thought I'd try something different on the video, so hopefully that works too. But that's the look we're going for, and you're not going to cut out every single square. We're going to do it a lot quicker. So I do suggest using a really strong adhesive for this, like the ATG, because you want to make sure every strip is covered, because they will end up in the little squares, but um, you're not going to have to cut them that way. So I'm just going to concentrate on adding adhesive to each of these rows here and I'm going to glue them on a pattern or not a tray, not pattern paper, cardstock. And I'm not really I have two strips of each color and my only goal here is I don't want the same pattern paper against each other. So past that I'm not worrying about where they end up. And I'm just gonna keep laying them down here. And after cutting them out, I suppose this is the most uh, labor-intensive part of this, but really it's not a big deal. And you could do this watching um, TV or whatever you want to do. Alright, so I finished adhering all my strips on there. You can see I have them all on there. Um, this is more than enough paper to do a card. If I wanted to continue on and do an 8.5 by 11 layout, I maybe would have covered the entire thing or 12 by 12 paper, but... Um, I'm probably even going to have enough here to do two cards, and that's really good. So I'm going to show you what the next step is. So basically, I'm just going to put this paper in my trimmer, and I'm going to cut it in half-inch strips, so the same size as the strips that I cut, but now you can see I'm getting the little squares, which is what's going to make this super easy to piece together on my card. And I'm just going to go ahead and keep cutting these out. Okay, so I'm finished cutting all the strips. I added adhesive to my card, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay them down. Start on one side. And it's a really quick process once you've got your adhesive down. The only thing I'm going to make sure that I do is probably flip them. So I'd, the only thing I'd like, these orange ones um, really pop, so I definitely don't want them to be beside each other. So I'll lay them and I'm going to end up with overlap obviously on both ends and that's okay. I'll, you can put together those scraps and make um, another card that way. So super easy. I'm just laying this down and I'm getting um, a wonderful patchwork effect. Okay, so I'm completely done here. I've got the whole card front covered. You can see I'm just going to go ahead and cut all this off. And it really wasn't a time-consuming process. The only reason I didn't do it um, completely on the camera is it's just repetitive. And I think I've showed you enough that you get the gist. And um, yeah, I'm trying not to have like a 20-minute video here. Which, again, it wouldn't have been because really it wasn't that long. But uh, less a 20-minute video and more. I just don't want to bore you guys. So... 
there we go. I have my card front and I have a ton of extra strips here as you can see so I can do another card or two um, or add those to a layout or what have you. And yeah, it looks like I did a ton of uh, work here cutting all these out and in reality I really didn't. It was quick and simple and looks really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and pick out some embellishments and we'll finish up our card. So I was looking around for how to finish the card and I was just basically going by the color tones of the papers that I picked and looking for my embellishments and I found this which I think is just perfect match color wise and just really cute. So I'm going to use this although you can see it has little can you see that little scalloped edge and I might use my um, good old decorative edge scissors and cut that out and just get the the white frame a little smaller so you see more of the squares which is obviously the main point of the card is to show those off. So where this came from is from these phrase cards and these are by Pebbles from the Seen and Noted line. There's phrase cards and journaling cards and if you're a card maker or project life or heck even scrapbooker I think these are great for anybody and I'm just going to flip through and show you what I love about them. If you're doing Project Life or Pocket Scrapbooking, these are the 4x6 ones and they're super cute and all on the back of these, sorry, you can see is polka dots and chevrons and all sorts of fun things. And then there's these ones which you can easily cut in half for two 3x4 inserts and a lot of them are shaped, like that one has a little banner tail on it and I think there's some in the back that have scallops, these are more little banners. Yep, so that's scalloped there. And there are just so many cute things in here. They're really, for all that you get, I think it's such a good bargain. And then these are the journaling cards, which I think are ridiculously cute for doing layouts. And again, they have the 4x6s. And I think that is where I cut that one from. I could be wrong. Um, and then, yeah, so all on the back of this one is the polka dot. So if there's like a saying that really doesn't fit, um, I'm sure you can use the other side of it. So, onwards with the card. Okay, so I definitely want to trim down this white because it's just covering up too much of the card. As I said, I have my scallop decorative edge scissors, so I'm going to try that and see if I like the look of it. I'm just going to trim it down a bit. Okay. Grab some scissors. I'm not going to bother with the trimmer, I'll just eyeball it. there. I think that's really cute. Okay, I've got my foam adhesive and I'm just going to cover the back of it. So to go with this, I thought I'd use, look at some embellishments from the Midway collection. Actually, before I do that, um, I have these from Maya Road. Um, the white and craft tags. And I thought I might use a corner, or not like a corner, like a, see I save, when I cut them I always save the little bits. So just something like that, kind of tucked under, I thought could be really cute. So maybe that, or this one. I kind of like that one. So, might see if having a bit of that poking out from the top and the bottom is a nice look on the card. Okay, now I'm going to look and see if I have other embellishments to go with that. my midway stuff here and I'm going to flip to the buttons and I'll try those. Okay, so I think I've decided on three little buttons here from the midway collection. I don't have yellow really in the rest of the card but I kind of like the addition of that color and I thought I'd just add the three of them on this little bottom tag by Maya Road. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere that to the card because I'm certain I want it down there. Not so certain about the one on the top, so for now I'll just flick that away. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and snip the twine off. I actually want to add a little twine bow to this as well. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make little notches on the bottom, so I'm going to wrap it around here. So I'm going to use my hole punch. And make little notches. Just like that. Makes it wrap around a little bit easier. I like that. So I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the card now. So just like that, I'm really liking the way the card looks so far. And I want to add just a little pop of color to the top of it. And on the Midway sticker sheet, I noticed there's this orange tab. So I think that's a great way to bring in the orange color again. And I'm really liking the way the card looks. The only thing I thought I might do is kind of tie in again the Your Heart is My Home. I know somewhere I have, I don't know if they're wood veneer or chipboard, little little houses. And I've looked and I cannot find them. That is the downside of my um, crazy, disastrous craft room. So I thought instead of um, a little house, I did find this cute little key on this Bella Boulevard sticker sheet. So I thought maybe I'd see how that looks on there and see if that kind of helps tie in the house theme of the card. Maybe above these little hearts. Okay. Doesn't feel 100% done, so I'm going to look around and see what else I have. Well, I went poking around, and the only last addition I think I'm going to do is this little pink heart here. I know it's a completely different um, color than what I've used in the card, but I think I'm okay with that. And I'm actually going to put it maybe right under where the bow is tied there, and I really like the looks of that. I think that's just a cute little detail. And lastly, I'm going to take some tin can Prima ink, and I'm just going to gently ink the edges of the card. And then I'm going to call it done. Okay, so I'm definitely going to call it a day with this card. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I just love the tiny little squares. I'm glad I decided to try them in the half inch size as opposed to the normal um, one inch size that I do. Again, you could do that in any size. You could do that big or small, whatever. Um, it's a really fun, easy, quick technique that really looks like you put a lot of effort and time into your card. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this week. I had a lot of fun and I hopefully... We'll catch you next time on Finally Friday. Have a great weekend.